Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to assemble my little fruit basket. This was a cutting file that I made many years ago, I can't remember. It was on my previous blog before the one I've got now. In fact, it was probably three blogs back. That's how old this file is. And I think I used it one time and then kind of forgot about it. And I've been going back through some of my cutting files and I came across it. So I thought I'd recut it today in, you know, up to date papers and cards and post it on my channel. So it is a cutting file that's going to be available here on my applelover53.co.uk website. So if you go to that website and you click on the scan and cut tab, the first option down is cutting files, you'll find it in there. But I want to show you that the actual basket, the elements for the basket, the, there are three elements and they will all cut from one piece of A4 card. So if you were you know, using these as table favours or you were giving them as gifts and you needed a few, it's not going to take up a lot of cardstock. And then the liners go inside. But again, you don't have to put the liners in. If you don't want to, it's entirely up to you. But I'm going to use them. So you'll see on the design that there are dashed score marks for you. You just need to fold them. I've pre-done them just to save some time. And the same on the liners. Now I want this pattern face up so I, I'm folding mine this way and then this is going to sit in here like so. The dash lines are going to line up and there's a tiny, tiny little increment around the edge where you can see the outer part of your basket. So I'm just going to pop these down with some liquid glue because that just gives you a little bit of wiggle room as I've said in previous videos. So I'm just going to pick this up and do it. I might, I think I can see it better. So I want the dash lines to line up. Like so. And I'm just going to do the same with this one. So this is kind of like the old fashioned basket that you used to get fruit in. I don't know if they still do them now, but I know when I was little, this was the kind of thing that we used to get strawberries and things in. So I'm just going to line them up, just lining up the fold lines. And then this sits in the middle of this, like so. So this forms your basket. Not sure if any of that was in shot. Let me try and move my camera. And I've just realized I've not got my light on. So I've put my light on. I'm not sure if that's gonna make it any better or any worse. But basically, as I say, you put glue on here now and this is gonna sit like so. I'll stick with my wet glue. And you can put anything in these baskets. You know, you could put sweets in them. Let me get something to just bring this in so I don't get glue all over the place. You could put sweets in them. You could put some light paper shred in them. You could put a gift in them. They'd be good for things like handmade soap or bath, you know, bath fizzers. So that's going to go like so. Now it does have a handle if you want to use it. Again, I would just give it a slight curl with a bone folder just to, you know, give it a bit of shape. And then it has these two other bits that, again, have got score lines in them. So fold on the score lines. And basically, you've got a short end. And on one end, there's a, a, a small fold. And the other end is there's no fold. So you take one of the ends with no fold and you stick it to one of the ends that's got the short fold on, okay? Just apply a little bit of glue and stick that together. This is gonna form the outside that keeps your basket together. So you want a nice strong glue for this. So I'm just gonna keep holding that for a minute. And then once I think that that's grabbed, I'm going to bring the other one around and put glue on the other one and put that together. It's really easy. You know, there's literally only these, as I say, two main parts to the basket. Two parts to the bit that holds it all together. And then the handle, which you can choose to use or not use. 
And then in the past when I've made this, I basically just folded up the basket, popped this around the top, you need to kind of fit it centrally so the main side of your basket sits centrally to the frame. And I've stapled it in the past, but I think just for speed, I'm gonna use my wet glue. So I'm gonna put a little bead of wet glue along the top of each of the four sides. You don't need a lot, just a tiny little bit because this actual strip's only about half an inch wide from memory, I can't remember. As I say, this, this cutting file was made a long, long time ago. I'm just gonna put my glue back. And then you want to line up, like I say, centrally along one of your long sides, and it goes on the outside of your basket and then bring the other one up like so. Just gonna put these under before everything starts to stick. And the idea of these is that you see the gap on the side. That's the whole idea of it. As I say, it's like an old fashioned fruit basket. So you want to give the glue some time to set and you want to make sure you try and line up everything so it's central. And then, you know, just go round and press it down so you know that everything is fully adhered. I'm gonna get rid of that now. So that's your basket with your liners on the inside and then your outer that holds it together. And then you've got the handle. Now again, you can put the handle on the outside, you can put it on the inside, it's entirely up to you. I think I'm gonna put mine just on the outside. And again, I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue. In fact, I might just use a glue dot just for speed rather than me having to hang on to the handles. So let me just find my take your pick tool. And I'm just going to put a little glue dot on the inside of each end of the handle. Sorry if I keep going out of shot. I've not, um, I mean, you, you won't notice with the YouTube videos because I, I plan weeks and sometimes, you know, months in advance. But I've not actually filmed a video consistently for a little while. And you kind of get out of practice. And now, of course, I'm covered in glue. So that's the little basket. That's how it looks. And then obviously you can decorate it how you want. I'm going to add this little rabbit on the front, I think, just for a little bit of decoration. So I'm just going to pop a couple of dimensionals on this little rabbit, which, you know, could be used for Easter. I might fill this actually with some chocolates and goodies and give it to Hannah like so. So the cardstock is Old Olive. The inside liner is from the Playing in the Rain designer series paper, which by the time you see this video, I'm not sure whether it will still be available or not, but you know, any papers will do. And then the little rabbit is from the Playing in the Rain stamp set. And I've coloured him in, I've done his jacket in Flirty Flamingo because that's what the colour of the paper is on the inside. This doesn't necessarily have to be a puddle. It could be a bit of grassy stud on. So I've done this in Old Olive, the same as the cardstock. I've coloured him in Smoky Slate, but then I've gone over with my colour lifter to make him paler. And he's got a little bit of peckle pink in his ears and on his nose. So that's how to assemble my basket and obviously you know you can fancy it up and I've add a ribbon if you want to so I was going to put some ribbon on it but I'm not going to bother so that's it but this would also look nice if you either kind of inked the edges in you know the same side like if this is old olive so it'd look nice if you ink the edges all around the edges of the basket bit in old olive to kind of like make it look a bit older 
or it would look good if you ran it through an embossing folder, something like that. Um, you might not get the whole length through your embossing folder, but you could emboss half of it, turn it around and emboss the other half. You're not going to notice on the bottom, you know, if your pattern doesn't line up. But that's today's quick video anyway, showing you how to assemble my little fruit basket cutting file. So I hope you like it. Please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.